it's Emma from Misfit Gardening and you're joining me in my sewing room at the moment. Um, in my last video um, I was checking to see what biodynamic day it was because I'm trying to grow lots of my uh, fruit and veggies and stuff biodynamically this year and it's Saturday the 27th and it's a root day which means it's a perfect time for me to start chitting my potatoes and because my chickens are total slackers I've had to buy eggs so I've got lots of egg cartons which means I can get these guys started off brilliantly um, I've got four varieties I have organic red thumb fingerling which are I don't know they kind of remind me of those like pink fur um, potatoes which are kind of a nice waxy firm variety I don't know if these are going to be the same uh, organic purple viking these came quite highly recommended then I have Burbank russet can't go wrong with a good russet potato and dark red Norland my husband only really likes two varieties of potato Russets and reds, so don't tell him we got other ones. So, and literally all I'm going to be doing with these is putting the camera down and opening, opening them up. Oh no, no! I can do it one-handed. I can do it one-handed. Um. Pulling, pulling these out. Sorry. Oops. So these are what are known as the eyes, and this is where they start. Well, you can see on this one's already starting to sprout, and these are probably going to get lots of different sprouts coming up on them. I'm just going to go ahead and put them in like that. Dead easy. Dead easy. I'm not sure if this is mud or if it's a scabby potato. Hey Ryan, is this what yours looked like? Oh no, it's mud. It's mud. So these got sent to me really early. And they've been sat in my refrigerator downstairs. So I'm hoping these will come come up. There's just some that feel a little a little soft. And some that are kind of firm. So hopefully they will they'll grow. But let's take a look and see what the others look like. These are the red thumb fingerlings. I'm just going to give them a bit of space. Oh, and you can see these these are already sprouting. These are probably a nice early variety. So once they're chitting well, I think I'm going to get these in the greenhouse. I've got some horticultural fleece, uh, which is known as floating row cover here in the US. So that's on its way and that should help give some good frost protection. Yeah, this one's really going like the clappers for such a little potato. God, some of these are absolute tiddlers. see the state-of-the-art labelling technique that I am currently using. The nice thing about these bags that they're coming in from Peaceful Valley is that they're brown paper. They can go in the compost heap. And if you guys have been following me for a while, you guys know I love my composting. 
All right, see what these bad boys are like. Okay, on with the russets. Oh, these. These don't look great. And they're a bit soft. But we'll, we shall see. We'll see what she does. Some of these are pretty scabby. Oh! And one monster. And these are the reds. Oh gosh, these are the softest. But you can see it's sprouting. Wow, all of these ones are. I gotta say, is it just me or do you, you know, for like three or four potatoes, I think $30 is extortionate. <laughs> I know that they're seed potatoes and they're to grow, but man, they are expensive. So all I'm gonna do with these now is I'm going to label this last tray and I'm going to put them on the kitchen table which is by a south facing window so it's kind of the warmest and I'm just going to let them keep chitting away because I need to get to my sewing machine otherwise I'd keep them in here so until next time um, I'm Emma from Misfit Gardening and I'm wishing you guys a very happy rest of your weekend and to have a lovely week. If you haven't already subscribed go ahead and hit the subscribe button and if you don't want to miss out go ahead and hit that bell notification. Um, don't do what I did and hit it twice because um, it turns off. Um, and then you miss out on all your favourite videos and all your favourite YouTubers. So, um, you know, drop a comment at the bottom. There's a, a nice community of gardeners all on here. And they're all, all really nice people. So stop in and say hi. Until next time, have a lovely week. Bye.